my heart has been quite heavy around January 2020. There was a promising young man. At some point, he said he was about to get married. The week of his wedding, he was stabbed. They took him to the hospital and the doctors said that they were not going to treat him without police report. He struggled with his life for over three hours and they were looking at him till he died. And he was buried on the Saturday that ought to be his wedding day. Last year, there was another incident of a very promising young woman here in the city of Abuja. She took a bus, call it One Chance, and in the course of collecting all her belongings, they stabbed her and they took her to the hospital. I, I got the video. She was on the floor in the hospital and the doctors were saying, we can't treat you without police report till she... Now, when this and many more happens to people, they say Nigeria has happened to them. In each of these two cases, if any one of these people have people in power and call, they will treat them. We don't want to have a nation that only works for the higher mighty. We want Nigeria for Nigerians. There are young people, some in churches across board, whose lives might be wasted this week because they want a better country. And some who might not even step out of their houses. And when Nigeria happens to you, they say it is tribulate. If there's a way our voice can be heard, we just want a country that works. And I want to beg. If we can beg the president, speak, talk to the people. People just want a better life. We just want to survive. And it is not too much to ask for. When my wife was going you know, to give birth to her first daughter, we took her to the hospital. You need to see how the nurses sat down carelessly. And I had to scream, stand up. That's what you are paid for. And attend to us. And they came lazing themselves. And then the doctor came out. He said, hey, Pastor Lazarus, it's Pastor Lazarus. And all the doctors came out. Oh, Pastor Lazarus. Oh, we are sorry. What is the fate of the common man? That is not the government. That is our people. The government is not the only problem. The nurses that won't attend to people, they are not the government. They are the people. So when you agitate for a better nation, tell yourselves the truth. Don't just bow to names. Have humanity at that. What we have today, it is Nigeria by Nigerians. And it can stop with you and I. People are dying and we say it is the will of God. No, it's not. And for those of you who believe that you are too rich for Nigeria to happen to you, I tell you, you lie. It doesn't matter how rich you are. The state of the nation can become your fate. We pray for Nigeria and we do what is right as citizens. It is easy to criticize the leadership or understand stand that we are also leaders and we can also do better. The boss who is not paying people their salaries uh, because he wants to show them is the boss also wants to protest. Your own government is failing. The lecturer who is trying to sleep with girls before they can pass also wants to protest. Your own government too is failing. All of us should do what is right. God bless you.